what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I was just going to do a video on the Legacy Velocitron override packaging but then something else came out that I think some people are going to be really interested in but I'm going to start off with this and just point out that the package is going to be different for this line. This is a Walmart exclusive line and it's all themed around Velocitron and as you can see the box is very much like a generation one toy you got the cardboard insert on the back there that's just flat and then you got the rectangle shape where the figure is actually attached in and it really does remind me of some of the older packagings not just from then but from transformer cybertron early movies or even the unicron trilogy where they were packaged in the alt mode and i kind of miss that because what was fun about that is you saw this car transformer figure, but you couldn't really gauge what the robot mode would look like until you bought it. And then when you bought it, you transformed it, and it was a big surprise how much you liked the actual robot itself. Now, I do understand why they package them in the robot mode nowadays, because when you take a first glance at some of the toys, they just look like another toy car thing or plane or something until you realize the box says Transformers or, you know, some of the character names. So for parents, I do kind of understand that, but it is definitely something that I missed, especially growing up and looking for those toys. Uh, especially with Transformers Cybertron, because when I started getting into Transformers, I started with the Cybertron line. So seeing the Speed Planet logo on this package, that's awesome. I am so in love with that, and it seems to be continuous with the rest of the line. I'm very curious to see how the Deluxe class packaging is going to look. But this is the first one, and it is a Voyager class toy, and I like it a lot. I love the artwork on the side of Override. I like the render on top as well. You can also see a part of the artwork on top that's also going to be Override's alt mode. And yeah, it looks pretty nice. I also like the title. It is long, but Velocitron Speedia 500 Collection. I get the nod to that. It's like NASCAR or Indy 500 and stuff like that. Yeah, I get it. It looks nice. But not only was this revealed, but recently Road Hauler was revealed for the first time in the packaging. And he looks pretty good too. This is obviously going to be a green repaint of the Grapple figure, and I totally understand that. Apparently this was rumored for the Selects line early on, but then it turns out it's going to be part of this. Now, you will notice that the head is black, and I believe that the original one was green if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but I heard some complaints from the comics. And to that I say, I do understand why people would be upset, but my thing is that it didn't really work on Grapple, so I don't mind Ro Road Hauler having the black head, because I think that the paint with the face will just blend a lot easier to that. So. I do get the complaint, but I think it will look better this time around. I do like the green color scheme, and you will also notice that the ties for this seem to be the twisted paper ties, so I'm not sure if anyone's into that, but it does remind me of some of the older toys, especially the early generations figures. And then taking a look at the back of the packaging, we can gauge a pretty good idea of the robot mode itself, obviously these are renders, but there is something to note. Other than the color scheme, which is going to be green this time around, and it looks like that the caution stripes are also going to be yellow and black, which this was just black, because obviously the figure was orange itself, so it didn't really need the yellow edition. But what I've noticed is that the head has been changed, and you will see the screaming mouth. That was a thing that was rumored for a while, and it seems to be true. And the unfortunate part about that compared to the Seeker 2-pack, which one of them had the screaming face, is that at least it was entirely painted silver. This one has the mouth unpainted and it seems to be black. Now, I can't guarantee that the figure is going to look like that because sometimes when you notice the render seems to change from the actual figure when it gets released. But if it's like that, that means that it's just going to look obnoxious. It's just going to be this super obvious screaming face and I'm not sure if I'm really into that. Also, another thing to point that some people have noticed is that the grapple claw seems to have some sort of additional piece at the front of it, so some people are speculating that it's going to be a different mold compared to what we got with grapple, and to that I say I don't think it's going to be the case. I think that's just a rendering error. They weren't sure if, whether or not to use the hose piece or the grapple piece, and they accidentally just threw in both, so I think that's all it is. It's just that, so... Not really worth looking into, but uh, other than that, 
yeah, I'm into it. I, I like this figure a lot. Yes, it's a green version of something that I already got, but I don't mind. I love this mold. I want to get the art fire, just haven't really had the best luck with that. But as far as Road Hauler is concerned, yeah, I like this a lot. So what do you guys think? Please comment below. Let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.